selector. She's trying to make me cry before I'm even out on the stage. What's... Oh, man. Mm -mm -mm. Um, it feels so good to be alive. Okay. Ah, that's a good record to play on your way over here. Thank you so much, Lorraine. Lorraine is a powerhouse. Lorraine Toussaint is a powerhouse. She teaches me so much every day at work. It's so much fun to play with her and learn from her. And uh, she's pretty bad herself. So I know I have the right partner in crime, if you will, <laughs> when, when I'm at work. Uh, thank you so much for having me tonight. Thank you for Variety for including me in this night for including me as one of your women in power. I happen to think all women have power and I wish we could all. I wish every woman on the earth could just, just zone into that. Because this would be a different planet. Um, I'm so very truly happy to be here tonight to accept this award. Um, it's such an awesome room. Venus Williams, Drew Barrymore, Camilla Cabello, Amanda Seyfried, Topeka Sam, Kim Cattrall, my, even I think my, my boy Jimmy Fallon is in here somewhere. I mean, my, yeah, yeah. But I ain't, I'm not gonna start, because we gonna get in trouble. If, we, we're bad kids. <laughs> We have, we have too much fun together. This issue of variety is celebrating the power of women and it is a very strange time for us. There are a group of people who are trying to steal our power. Our power to decide what we want for our bodies, for our families, for our future. And I guess what I can say to that is you know, for my whole life, people have been trying to diminish my power. They've always tried to diminish the power of the woman. It, it's like what I tell my friends who don't want to vote sometimes. Well, if the vote wasn't worth something, they wouldn't be trying to keep you from voting. So. I feel the same way about womanhood. If we weren't so powerful, there wouldn't be such a push to keep us in a place. And there are so many men who celebrate our power, who support our power. My father is right there, he is one of them. My Uncle Dave is right there. Uncle Dave supports my Sonetta's power. She's a powerful woman, that's mine, you know. And we need to celebrate them as well. Um, I talked in this interview about people during my career um, telling me what I could and couldn't do. I started out as a rapper. Uh, a woman rapper at that. Um, that was that was already different, apparently. But to me, it was uh, just an expression of words and God bless you and um, music and the things that I wanted to talk about weren't maybe the typical things. I think because of the way my parents raised me, uh, I observed the world in a different way. And I observed things right around me. And I love that beat, and I love those rhymes. But I also did not like 
some of the things I was seeing in the world. And I knew that I could use music as a tool to talk about those things, to say something about it, to bring awareness to it, and to do it in a way that made us feel together. Uh, I know what it looks like when women don't get along, when we backbite each other, when we fight against each other. But I also know what it looks like when we do. And when we stand together, there is nothing more potent. There's nothing stronger. There's no level higher, nothing grander than, we, than when we lock arms and decide we're going to do something. I want to thank, acknowledge everyone at the table, Monsonette and Uncle Dave, of course, are there. Lorraine's manager is here, and the wonderful Lorraine Toussaint, Deborah Frazier House, who's been fighting for us for decades, especially in the fight with the AIDS crisis and a great many things. You know, she's moved the needle forward in unbelievable ways. My father, Lancelot A. Owens, who uh, taught me how to use these things at a young age. And, um, yeah, Dana, just do it like this. Just shoot the jab and then come back with the cross and then you hit him with the left, you know what I mean? And, you know, or you can break his finger like this, you know? And I'm like, Dad, I'm five. I can't use that at school. <laughs> I can't use any of this at school. <laughs> I can't break their arm. <laughs> no, but he taught us these things, but he also taught us never to use this. This is a self defense technique. This is to be used to protect your sister, Lance. This is what she told, he told my brother. And this is used to protect your mom. Or if bullies are um, attacking someone in your school, you, you get involved and you help stop that. You use this for good. You use your powers for good. And I watched him do that and I try to do it myself. I've tried to emulate that. When I got into this business of filmmaking and television, what's up? What's up, the Williams is in them? I see y'all. It's hard for me to not smile. Um, <laughs> but um, when, when I got into this business, my partner, Sha, Kim, and I, we got a lot of no's, but we never stopped pushing. And uh, one of the reasons I'm even here today is because there was a junior agent named Randy Michelle, who's sitting at my table. She's not a junior agent anymore. <laughs> there were a lot of people above her and above me at our agency at the time. And um, my partner, Shaquem, asked, you know, uh, do you think she could be an A-list actor? And this particular agent said, absolutely not. She could never be an A-list actor. So he said, fine, uh, you're fired. Give me her. <laughs> Give me the junior agent who hasn't been jaded. <laughs> and she believed in me, and we rocked together, and we made Queen Latifah an A-list actor. Um, I'm not really here to talk about myself in that sense. I'm just here to mention that there are women in my life who have stepped in and fought for me. The reason she got a hand clap is because a lot of people in this room know who she is and they know how much of a fighter Randy is. Um, my mom, my Aunt Sonetta, don't let me get her going. <laughs> she take this whole place out. <laughs> With the words. But for 45 years, I watched her save lives um, at Beth Israel Medical Center in Newark, New Jersey. So, and whenever I had something coming up, it's people like Asanetta, who's like, Danny, you're doing a good job on that thing. Don't let them tell you. And listen, that Dante, I like the wife coming in, but don't let her get in between you and the, this equalizer thing got people, it's a trip, you know, how I have to 
everything's going to be fine. But we have a fighting spirit in our family, and we always have. And it's been passed on from generation to generation to generation. I can look at my grandmother and remember uh, her teaching me things. I can look at Ancinetta with my grandmother, who was like her, her mini-me. I can look at, think of my grandfather who owned a hardware store, who taught all my cousins and my brother and my father and all of us how to use tools, how to use our hands, how to learn things and how to be entre entrepreneurs along with his brothers. Um, I can look, trace my family back now to the first person who landed on these shores as a slave, uh, Grace, my sixth great grandmother, and um, her daughter, Juggy, who was a midwife who delivered babies in her, into her 70s. Those babies weren't all black babies. I know that. I feel it in my spirit. And so that's why I know UNITY is important. Unity is important. When we come together and we stand together, there's nothing that we cannot do. Let me talk about my mom briefly. My mother's name is Rita L. Owens. She was a teacher an educator, she would say. Um, but she taught at Irvington High School in New Jersey for 25 years. She is part of the reason why the Jalen Rose Academy stuck out. I've known Jalen since we were teenagers pretty much because he was a young basketball player who loved hip hop and he loved Naughty by Nature and we all met back in the days and we were all just young kids coming up in the game you know, doing our thing. And we've remained friends throughout these years. But Jalen's interest in giving back is what's most important. Not forgetting where you come from. Understanding that when you open a door, you don't close that door behind you. You leave that door open and you even reach back and you grab somebody's hand and then you walk through. You leave the door open. So when you hear Lorraine talk about me on the set of wanting to lend uh, one of my, my, my boom guy, <laughs> my motorcycle, that's just who I am. Um, we've always been here to give this, pass this along. There are too many people trying to polarize us. As I look in this room, I see all kinds of people. Inside, it's all red. And we all have iron in our blood. And we can be stronger together. That's what I would like to see. When I see Jalen go to that school and talk to those children to support them, to lift them up, not to just put his name on a school or support it financially, but to actually go there and be a physical inspiration of someone who made it to kids who may come from nothing, don't have two pennies to scratch together, but all the talent and gifts in the world. They just need opportunity. And to see them succeed, that's why he gets the support. That's why he should be supported and that's why I'm here for him. I want to thank Variety for this night. Sonny Hassens, thanks for having me on The View earlier today. That was fun. The food was good. Marcella Valladoli was there. Way to choose the great chef today. <laughs> thanks for the free food. <laughs> um, I want to thank all the, not the, the honorees tonight. You are all incredible women and you all deserve to be honored, as well as everyone who's with you. Um, how the Garani is up in here somewhere, what? Um, and Lifetime, I'd like to thank Lifetime as well because Lifetime has always been a great partner to Flavor Unit. We've made a bunch of movies with them and we were able to make the Clark Sisters movie with them, which was one of their highest rated um, shows ever, premiered on Easter, and it gave so many people uh, 
a lift during a dark time, which was in 2020. And so it's nice to see everybody outside, you know? We outside again. I just ask that everyone continue to support one another. Ebony, thank you for your support constantly. Larry Gerard Sims, thank you for being here tonight to celebrate with me and to support me. I just thank all those people whose shoulders I stand on. And I stand on a lot of shoulders. And I got a lot of people standing on mine. And I'm trying to hold them up, but I'm gonna tell you this knee is a pain, you know. <laughs> but we gonna get it right over the summer as we relax a little bit. <laughs> and so thank you very much. I wish you all the best. I pray for this planet. I pray for peace. Just as the young lady said, I pray for peace. I pray for peace every night. So um, let's just spread that love, spread that love around the world. We need it. Let's keep doing it. Peace. I'm out. <laughs>